Happy Thanksgiving. I am so excited to talk about Alma 37 through 39. This is where Alma is talking to Helaman. He's continuing his discussion. And thank you for all of you that asked about shame and guilt. Um, he goes into his story a little bit more with Shiblon in 38. And shame is I'm bad. Guilt is what I chose to do pulls me away from God. Guilt allows us to change behavior. Shame actually fosters <laughs> worse feelings that doesn't change behavior but actually pushes us towards the behavior we want to change and so this is important as we go through the next couple of chapters because you know as a parent we're parenting different children within the same family and they're different ages and different experiences and they have different needs and Helaman in my mind is being counseled in a way to get him ready to be a church leader that's where he is in age so Alma is talking a lot about the 24 plates and he's showing evidences of the power of scriptures and how they bring us to Christ and anchor us in Christ and that the the people that were destroyed were the ones that didn't live and use their scriptures and I think that's important counsel for us right and so he's really trying to get Helaman ready I think to teach and lead from a scripture based perspective and then we go to the next chapter, chapter 38, Shiblon. This is a very personal chapter for me, and I and I debated to share this or not. I had an experience when my my son, who's almost 21, was about 13. And I was in the temple, and the Lord um, really did show me this scripture in, in a way that was his scripture, my son's scripture, this chapter. Sorry, there's sirens going by me right now. And in that um, process of personal revelation, I was given some counsel to give to my child. And, and he has known for many years now that Shiblon and he share something in common. And it was interesting to see that some of the counsel given was eventually given in my um, son's patriarchal blessing. I love this chapter, but he's saying, listen, you, I'm rejoicing in you, son. You've done amazing things already. I think he's a return missionary, right? And he's going forward and his dad is saying, keep going forward and um, be warned some of these things, pride um, and keep moving forward, but be careful. And then we go, <laughs> Corianton is the next chapter. My, my perception of this is this is a child that chose not to serve a mission and um, is not living the law of chastity and is rebelling. And it's bringing up the story that Alma has about himself. And he's very clear about the behaviors being wrong. And he's sharing how um, Granton's behavior has affected the people of the Zoramites and it's causing them to fall away, which is literally the story Alma lived, right? That's exactly what he experienced and what he has repented of. And so he talks of Christ again and really is bold. And it reminds me that each of our kids are different and the counsel that we give each of them is different. And um, the way we have to parent them is different. And I wonder how, how desperate Alma was feeling because he so wanted to save this son. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope these thoughts help you in some way and um, blessings to you.